it's time for Jason Momoa. Give it up. Puerto Rico. <laughs> I love you guys. Woo! This place is amazing. You feeling love? It that? is so awesome here. I love Puerto Rico. I saw some the people, the food. Uh, I've been in old San Juan the whole time, man. It's amazing. Which you, I, have I, you been able to walk around? Um, you know? Uh, no. Inco 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 no, no, not at all. It's hard. I'm six five. It's yeah, a little, yeah, yeah. Uh, and he's, you supposedly I have my shirt off all the time. I got caught uh, on the streets. That that's a big giveaway. It's hot here. You know what I mean? I'm not. Uh, Hawaiians didn't invent clothes, you know yeah. what I mean? And then you're wearing the pava, which makes you like 6'8". Yeah. So, yeah. So. so my question is, do you have a favorite experience portraying one of those characters from Stargate till Game of Thrones and now, obviously, Aquaman? So do you have something that, that you hold dear in terms of the badasses that you've been able to play? I think I think the biggest badass I've ever played is uh, Sir Khal Drogo. <laughs> and my question to you is... There we go. I mean, obviously the books were huge, and you've only been in the one season, and you still been able to make an impression. Did you know when you got that role that it was gonna sort of be? I mean, not, I didn't impression. think I'd be in Puerto Rico asking, you know, <laughs> answering questions. If that's yeah. what you mean. But um, I'm pretty. Uh, when I read the role, when I read the books, I was um, I've never read anything quite like that. And it was aside from my wife, that was like the the, the other thing I had to have. I, was like, <laughs> I want you, baby, and I want. That Hell Drogo. All right. And, I, and I'm taking him. All right. So, wanted to ask you in terms of do you think of the experience of playing another character that has a rabid fan base, uh, which is Conan, uh, uh, do you feel that that prepared you to what's coming in terms of your interpretation of Aquaman? I think the biggest thing that prepared me for all of it was Stargate Atlantis. Um, I was on that show for four years and I constantly did action. And, I, you know, Ronan was a huge contribution to what I know how to do with stunts and stuff. So. Uh, as far as Aquaman goes, I mean, you get, you get ready. <laughs> you get ready. You get ready for all sorts of questions it's that gonna you're going to be able to gonna answer. Be, it's going to be awesome. It's going to be amazing. <laughs> I'm pretty excited. So, All right, so before, I'm going to give it up to you guys in quiet, but uh, I've been interested to see that you, do you think you're going to be a different type of actor or a better actor now that you've directed a full feature and went through that process? Well, in theory, I should be getting better, yeah. yeah. But I mean, <laughs> I mean, I mean, in terms of in terms of how you sort of mm, your process on the yeah, set is what I mean. I mean, I definitely uh, I've always absorbed um, the whole process. I mean, I think that's why you know I've been you know writing and started a production company and writing with my partners and and directing. It's just because I want to. There's stories I want to be a part of that I can't be a part of. I want to do a story of Puerto Rico now. There we go. Hey. I came this close to shoot a movie here. I'm very excited to come here and shoot. There we go. There you, you guys will have me, right? I think we will. I can stay at your houses, I'll just bounce around. <laughs> I don't think lodging will be an issue. Yeah. The other thing that I read is, how are you, I saw that you AD'd a short film. I don't, how are you as an assistant director? That would be scary to me. Yeah, I'm just like, uh, so how, do we get it, do we get it, let's move it on. Yeah. It's like, who argues with you about the time? Is, uh, is, is the DP there, there are you with me? <laughs> no, but they're there all my friends. The, the, the company that I've created with my friends is called Pride of Gypsies. Yeah. So we all, you know, we're well, all very talented, capable actors and, and work in the business and directors and you know some of us hold the boom some of us grip you know I mean there's lots of different jobs and we help each other out tonight nice. I'm I am the first question there you go oh, oh. Ooh, no send him to the back send him to the back <laughs> okay get to it man ahora dale rápido <laughs> right after that what can we expect from your Aquaman I mean guys you've seen what, what I've done with the the other characters, you're gonna be happy. Let's yes. just say that you're gonna Woo! be happy. I don't want to give away too much because the truth of it is, I mean, they're you know they're still in 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 the works of writing the Aquaman movie. So um, I don't know too much more than what you guys know. I've been doing research. I'm excited to play them, but as far as like giving you any details. <laughs> 20 years later, now the serious actor, they want to do a comic book movie, but you are right in the, you earn your place right in the middle of it. So as an actor, when you started acting, uh, is that something that took you for surprise or do you feel it was uh, uh, an, uh, an evolution? 
I mean, as an act, I mean, the whole point of like being an actor is studying life, and because um, there's so many beautiful people and jobs and different ways of looking at things, and and you know, I, I don't have to just do one job. I can do many things. I can be. You good? You got your? You got it set up? <laughs> I totally called you out right there. <laughs> Everyone, look at him. Back Why back. are you turning red? <laughs> um, so. Uh, <laughs> Um, but it, it's, it, I never thought in a million years I'd be playing a superhero. You know what I mean? I never, I never thought I was going to be an actor. It kind of, it was just um, life kind of, you know, sometimes you go left, sometimes you go right. And I ended up in this career, fell in love with it and studied after that to take it seriously. But um, I never thought I'd be doing this. But, I'm, you know, I have two kids. I have an eight and a six and a half year old. And my son is obsessed with <laughs> Batman. And I fucking know Batman. <laughs> You That's earned the your coolest, coolest shit in the world. Dad, and I'm yeah. like, hey, son, you want to go hang on the Batmobile? I'm like, yeah. I'm like, hey, excuse me, Batman. You know, <laughs> I suck. So, um, in my, you know, my daughter loves Wonder Woman, and you know, it's really cool to be, you know, in the they can't really watch a lot of things that I'm on. You know what I mean? <laughs> Why? Uh, Papa's made some uh, different decisions. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> you're not allowed to, you're not allowed to watch that ever. So. <laughs> They won't be able to enjoy Game of Thrones. Not for a while. Because you set up your production company and Aquaman's going to blow you out of the water. Are you, do you have a strategy of what you're going to do in between those DC films that oh, you have lined yeah. up? Yep, absolutely. We've been direct, I've been directing with my company. Uh, commercial. Wow. <laughs> no. I've um, been directing commercials with, um, with my company. And um, we already have our next script. Right nice. We actually have our next one we're going to do after Justice League. I'll direct. And then we're writing another one right now. And if we get it out in time... Maybe we'll shoot this winter. A couple of months ago, you went to a convention and somebody gave you a poster and said, <laughs> F in Marvel? Oh, yeah. Do you regret joke. it or do you... Oh, I... Here's the thing that I regret. I re regret the fact that I can't personalize anything to my fans. You know what I mean? Like, you come up and go like, hey, will you write, will you marry me? And I, <laughs> I've ruined that. I mean, it's, it's silly. It's something between two people that, you know, the internet just takes it out of... Or just goes out there and it's just like, oh my god, he said fuck Marvel. I'm like, are you kidding me? My kid, I love X Men. I grew up with, I mean, love Wolverine. My kids love Spider Man. I'm like, it's just silly. And, and to say that, there's, you know, a lot of the actors, Robert Downey and, you know, um, Hemsworth, are all just amazing actors that I love. So it's kind of, um, it's sad because you want to have fun and do these things. But next thing you know, it's on the internet saying, like, same thing I said with uh, um, uh, George R. R. Martins. I'm just like, I'm reading the book. And when I got the end, I'm like, fuck you, George Martin. <laughs> but people were like, Jason Momoa said, fuck you, George Martin. I don't think you're alone. Exclusively in Puerto Rico. I don't think like, you're alone in that. In relax, that. relax. Everyone just like, you know, I'll leave my sense of humor at the bottom of the ocean next time. <laughs> Thank you. Do you have any possibly ideas if you're going to join the Marvel movie? And what role would you choose for a Marvel property? Gosh, I, I mean, like I just said, I love X-Men. And I think Hugh Jackman's amazing. Wolverine's one of my favorites. I would love in some capacity. He's giving up that role soon. I'm just saying. Yeah, I don't think that would happen. <laughs> um, but that would be something involved in X Men, would be definitely. Okay, hey, uh, I want to know what was your reaction when you read in the script of Game of Thrones when you realized uh, Khal Drogo was going to die? No. <laughs> no! <laughs> yeah, spoiler alert, five I'll years ago. Five years, guys. Come oh, on, get man. to it. It was, it was, uh, it was sad. You know, I went straight to the bookstore and I bought the next one. I'm flipping through it and I just, I was like, it's so <laughs> amazing because you're like, really, a pillow? <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's just you, you. Right when you think you know something, he just pulls that rug out, and that's why he's a genius. And I, uh, you know, that's why the show's epic. Um, I don't expect an answer from this one. Can we expect you a hook for a hand since you're playing Aquaman? Uh, next question, please. <laughs> <laughs> nice try, dude. Which was your favorite experience at Game of Thrones? Uh, my favorite... <laughs> it's... Guys, turn the cell phones on or else he's going to pick it up. Well, <laughs> um... It's hard with Game of Thrones because you go like, my favorite acting experience ever was the big speech where I get everyone all riled up and you know someone hurt my wife and I'm just gonna I'm basically laying down what I'm gonna do. 
Although, I really like ripping someone's throat out. At the same time, I really like pouring gold over someone's head. <laughs> Having said that, I really liked being in bed with, you know what I mean? I didn't like it, Drogo liked it, but uh -huh. nonetheless, it's really hard to pick. You know, in the IMDb trivia so, section of here, so amazing. he said that you were really uncomfortable during those scenes. I was, I was uncomfortable with the first scenes. Uh. That was, yeah, that was, that, was, that was horrible. Yeah, I, I feel but, it. But, uh, you know, it got better. I know. There's a lot of, you know, cuddling and <laughs> Thank you. There was, in, in Batman v Superman, or in any other movies you're making, was there any pressure, because a lot of the audience did not like Man of Steel. And since them adding, keep adding characters. See, well, it's hard to say because, I mean, if you're comparing it to... It's, here, here's, a, here's an example. I played Conan. Everyone's like, oh my god, you can't play Conan. There's only one Conan, he's Arnold. Well, me and Arnold learn anything alike. We'll never be alike. But I liked Robert E. Howard stories. Mm -hmm. And I love Frank Frazetta. And I wanted to bring Frank Frazetta's paintings to life. Now, there's Dark Horse comics. There's all these different types of Conan and I mean you're never gonna please everyone so you have to go out and make your own piece and I think if you wait and see Man of Steel is just the beginning of a huge universe and so I just take it easy for a second and wait till you see the rest of the universe you know what I mean I think if uh, you know Zach knows what he's doing and there's a there's a big universe plan so it's kind of like it's just one. Yeah, but do you think that Snyder takes into consideration sort of the fans he's making? The well, put it this way: I mean, I've just met Jeff Johns, and the, all the people that are there of DC. I mean, they're the ones approving it. Mm. It's DC. It's not just Warner Brothers taking over yeah. and making it. And they're like, "Oh, just do whatever you want to." DC's behind it. Cool. I mean, it's a whole. I mean, I, I would just wait. You know what I mean? approval, it, yeah. It's kind of like uh, even Batman. I mean, did you guys like the new what Christopher Nolan did? Do you guys like what Some people are like, no. And then a lot of people are like, yes, I just, you know. Yep. Apples and doorknobs. You know? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you know what? I got a question for the orange uh, samurai, orange haired samurai. Where's how come you didn't like, uh, how come you didn't like Superman? Ooh. No, 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 no. By all means, speak your mind. <laughs> you got a problem with my boy? of while making the movie and what advice will you give to young filmmakers out there? Well I think it all starts with story. Um, at, the, at the dawn of man we sat around the fire and told stories and passed down to generation to generation before there was language, you know what I mean? So I, uh, I love this, I love the writing aspect of it and you know being in my imagination and seeing the shots and hearing the story and the voices and the characters and building that because no one can touch that. Mm -hmm. you know I mean, then you come in with budget and you got other, some other asshole's idea. <laughs> you got in order to, you know, like Road to Paloma, I had to change a lot of things to, just to get for the audience to see it. So there's a bit of, you know, it's not 100% mine. There's a lot of stuff that went in there that I, I disagree with. But um, in order for a piece of art to come out to see you guys, there's a lot of cooks in the kitchen. So I mean, sometimes it's really bad because people are like, oh, that director was, you know, sucked or the actor did this. I'm like, do you know how many... Assholes well, goes on, yeah. <laughs> that you don't know, so yeah. it's, it's kind Thank of like, um, yeah, it's, it's more than and just it's first time directing, too. So I imagine that was trial. it was amazing. Yeah. No, 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 I'm a genius. No, it was awesome. <laughs> the movie is available, yeah, it was to everyone else's fault. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 All right. Well, so get to the question quickly. <laughs> the question is that there are, there are a lot of people that think Aquaman is pointless. So, yeah, yeah. My, my question is, does does that in a way make you scary on the way you're planning to make, to portray as Aquaman? Well, here, let's put it this way, and you guys are Puerto Rican. Um, it's my culture, the Hawaiians, we got to our islands. We have gods, Tanaloa, Kanaloa, mm -hmm. Maui. That would be like saying that those gods are, what do you mean, pointless and, and shit to me when the world, when the world is made up of 80% of water. Mm -hmm. uh, it's kind of like that's all based around our culture. And, um... I have a huge respect for the ocean, and you know, he obviously gets castrated from time to time, but times are changing, and uh, there's a new brown skin superhero coming to town. <laughs> How you feel about that, Puerto Rico? <laughs>
And the other, but the other thing is to get to maybe his point is the fact that as opposed to Conan or anything uh, else, the, he hasn't been portrayed in uh, on screen. So do you feel that freedom in terms of? Oh you, yeah, I mean, yeah. you'll be the, the finding yeah, Aquaman absolutely. for generations. So. For sure, I, it's it's an honor, and I can't wait. And it's 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 a it's a little bit. Yeah, it's, it's nice for not having to go like someone else did this and did that. You know, being Batman, obviously, there's mm -hmm. so many, but yeah. Cool. I think I found your duplicate right there. I think you got a, supposedly there you is. got a, there you go. I found your duplicate. He's auditioning for your stand-in. <laughs> when you come to Puerto Rico, that's your stand-in. There we go. What's up, man? <laughs> pretty close, pretty close. Are you married? <laughs> Are you married? What's happening here, man? Oh, uh, okay, cool. Congratulations. <laughs> Otherwise, I was like, well, I'm you go have fun, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Tell oh. everyone you're Drogo. <laughs> and then the question? Okay, the question. Um, discarding Aquaman's abilities and his forte, if someone grant you a super uh, superpower, what it would be and why? If someone granted me superpowers, what would they be and why? Yeah, this uh, exciting or discarding Aquaman's abilities. Because I don't have any of those abilities. <laughs> <laughs> because I, I am a human. <laughs> Um, I, I would love to be able to fly. I mean, there we go. I want to fly. <laughs> um, Nobody's judging just, you, it's okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't want to be super strong or like, yeah. Just, I, just I think you're good in that department. Yeah. <laughs> so you move the table. Um, I just wanted to ask, what was your least favorite part in the Game of Thrones series other than, you know, Carl Drago's death? My least favorite? There, I, there wasn't one. I'm sorry. There wasn't like no. the death that you were like, what? I mean, it got the, the maybe the worst was it, it's really hot where we shot. Oh. It'd be like being in Puerto Rico and wearing leather pants. <laughs> You'd be surprised how you much that happens here. <laughs> <laughs> so there's some interesting things that happen to your body <laughs> in that kind of weather. Mm. So that's probably the worst. Hi. You came to my booth yesterday, I don't know if you remember. Yeah, it starts with an A. I, I, and Aniki. Aniki, yes. There we go. I already finished the drawing. Oh, wow. Come on up, baby. Oh. <laughs> pretty cool. There we go. That was pretty so awesome. Yeah. Wow. You want to turn it around so they can see? Yes. Sneaked that one by, did she? Good job. I, I love coming to um, these Comic Cons. Because I'm an artist, my mother's an artist, my father's an artist, and I just I love going down Artist Alley and, and seeing all the beautiful work. And thank you. Not that I really want pictures of me, but it's but it's pretty cool. My wife's gonna love it. You know what I mean? I think my kids are gonna love it. And do you fear that you get labeled with the same type of strong like, yeah, and superhero awesome. character? <laughs> yes. And which other type of role will you play? I mean, I would love to do a comedy. Personally, it's very funny in my head. Uh, it may not come out sometime like that, but I think I'm also quite romantic sometimes. So uh, one of those, uh, you know, romantic comedies. So pretty fun. You, you're not. You, you, Am you I worried about being that, yeah. typecast? Yeah. Am I worried about being typecast? I think, I mean, that's a lot of people don't know what to do with me, and that's why I'm directing and writing and doing my own stuff. And you don't, eventually, it's gonna, eventually, I'm gonna come out and everyone will know. <laughs> um, I just, uh, it's very, extremely hard to be in this business, and uh, it's, I'm very thankful to have the, the work that I do have. And, um, you know, I chose to play. Ronan, and I chose to play Conan because I really loved that when I was a kid. And Drogo, it's like I worked very hard to get those. So I mean, there'll never be another Drogo. I'm not gonna go play something like that. Am yeah. I getting typecasted that I don't have my shirt on? Sure. <laughs> Am I excited to wear clothing? Yes. Do I enjoy speaking the English language? Yes. So. <laughs> um, thank you. What's that? Oh, thank you. No, she's just thanking you for answering the question. Oh. Come here. <laughs> Here's my question. Who would 
win in a fight, call Drogo or Conan. If someone put these two one on one in a fight, mm, do they have weapons? Oh, sure, broadsword versus axe, or whatever. <laughs> or whatever. <laughs> You think it would be different if there weren't any weapons involved? I'd rather watch it with no weapons. There we go. So what would happen with no weapons? Uh, Drogo would rip his goddamn throat out. There you go. <laughs> Drogo for the win. Uh, hi, my name is Monica, and I'm here on behalf of my friends because they were too scared to come ask you a question, so oh, really? I stepped Where's up to the plate. Where's your friends at? Let's bring your friends out. Let's get your friends to stand up. Come on, chicken shits, get up. Where are you at? Let me look at you. Oh, yeah, there they are. Two yeah. guys that set the girl up. Yeah. That's the girl. <laughs> Good job, guys. What, what yes, sweetheart. Said. Come what on up here and ask me. Come here. <laughs> and that's what happens. Come here, beautiful. You're so brave. <laughs> look, at those, look at those idiots over there. All right. You shouldn't hang out with them. What, what's your question? I just, let me look, I gotta look in the eye. <laughs> now that I'm gonna be a superhero. Yeah. Is there any DC character you're excited to work with? If, if you could, if, which one would you like to work with? Well. <laughs> I mean, I'm a, I'm, you know, I'm in the Justice League, if you didn't know. And if I, if I told you, like, like, like Superman, and then Batman would get jealous. And if I said, if I said I wanted to be with Batman, then Superman, then Wonder Woman would get jealous. So I just like my whole team. What's his name? Ricky. Stand up, Ricky. You've been called out. Stand up, so we can get a good look at you. Are you puffing up your chest at me, Ricky? Uh, Ricky, you got a good lady here. All right. Thank you. Check my Danny. Danny. <laughs> okay. Put that shit on your ringtone. <laughs> okay, my question for you is how long does it took you to learn the speaking Doraki? Both Rocky, yeah. It took a while. It's extremely hard. Um, I have a hard time speaking English. <laughs> so, um, yeah, it was, a, it was a big challenge because when I actually auditioned for it originally, it was in broken English. And then when I got there to the table reading, they're like, we have this great idea <laughs> that um, we think it's silly that Danny wouldn't learn how to speak Dorothy and like, you know, thousands and thousands of Dorothy would learn English. It just, that sounds dumb. And I'm like, yeah, that does sound dumb. So they gave me the language and I was just like, how much time did you have to learn? I, you know, respectfully, you know, the first three episodes I really don't say much. So that gave me time, at least gave me a month to learn. Cool. Yeah, just a lot of raping in the beginning. No. But, you know, I, mean, I, had, I had time to learn the language, it was cool. <laughs> nice. Thank you. Next Thank question. You. you look great. I miss you so much. <laughs> I hate that you whore around with like men that aren't nearly as good as me. It breaks my heart. <laughs> Which side would you, would you choose? Batman side? Silverman side. Um, <laughs> um, you know, I, I don't know. I don't know. Or just like? I wouldn't say. <laughs> he doesn't know, man. He said. Thanks. Thanks, buddy. Sorry. I would like um, for you to describe your transition from your role as Khal Drogo to Aquaman in the next movie. Was it hard or easy? Well, he's done, you've done projects in between, so yeah, it yeah, hasn't been like, yeah. you haven't been working. Yeah, it's, uh, it took like, me, it took me Describe like, your role from Khal Drogo to Aquaman. Well, I don't want to describe too much about Aquaman. I'm trying to sidestep these questions, yeah. but... Do you, I mean, to talk about Aquaman, I don't know sure. why you can't. Uh, do you, are they going to listen to your input uh, in regards to the script and what's happening with the individual Aquaman movie? Do, is that sort of a working relationship with uh, oh, the I guys? Know, I, don't, I don't know, buddy. Okay, try. No, we're not going to get anything out of it. 
and he's near to me, so I'm afraid. So yep. it's okay. Next one's an elbow in your face. <laughs> Question: uh, Do you think that that character, Ronan, is the one that helped you out for all the other ones, uh, bad asses uh, characters? You're absolutely right. Because. R He's, he's amazing. So. Yeah, Ronan definitely was, was like four years of high school or college. You know, I got to go to school every day, 22 episodes, doing stunts. And uh, yeah, it got me ready for for uh, Drogo and all that stuff, yeah. Cool. <laughs> You're dead on. Thank you. You're welcome. I want to know if you had a pick already or a favorite pick for a director of Aquaman. Oh, I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Um, hello, my name is Brian. Hi, Brian. Hello. Question, Brian. Uh, um, I'm Jason. <laughs> now that you visited Puerto Rico, will you ever come back again to? I. Florida? He's coming to do a movie. Can't movie. wait. Huh? I can't wait to come back. I love it here. I love it here. You guys are so spoiled. Shame on you. Hogging this beautiful land all to yourselves. It's amazing. It's so much history and I, I, I tell you I travel quite a bit and I've been to a lot of places and this is definitely one of my favorite places I've ever been. There you go. I appreciate that. Thank you. Next question. Hi. Um, Hi. I just want to say I got diagnosed with anxiety disorder a few years ago. With, with what? Anxiety disorder. Anxiety. Oh, yeah. And it took me a while to um, actually go up to you and ask you a question. Like, my brother over here kind of... So you shouldn't probably come up here right now. Because that'll help. <laughs> it will totally help break all that. Let's give her a hand, everyone. Come on, my guys. <laughs> all right. You want to ask me a question? Watch out. It looks like you're a Superman fan. <laughs> Superboy. Okay. Uh, my question is for the people who have anxiety disorder, um, for performing or being in front of a camera, like any tips to kind of pretend like it's not there. <laughs> They're not there right now. It's just you and me. <laughs> There's a lot of flashing going on right now, but just the, when you're doing the act, you just have to pretend it's not there. There's a wall there. Okay? It's okay. You'll be fine. It's fine. You'll be all right. Just remember, it's not a big deal, okay? You'll be all right. All right? All right, superwoman boy. Yeah. Next question. Okay. Hey, Jason. Oh, well, my question, we know all that Joffrey the bastard died really. Spoiler. Uh, <laughs> well, yeah. Well, I, here's the thing: is people, people like really, really hate Joffrey. He's probably the kindest, most sweetest kid. I love Jack. He is amazing. And if anyone messed with him, I would eat them. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Because I'm like, he's just a great actor doing his job really, really, really well. Yeah. Okay. Well, my question is, how will will you kill Joffrey by acting called Drow? Being Drogo, what would I do to Jeffrey? I'd probably eat him. <laughs> <laughs> But I love Jack, and I wouldn't do that to Jack. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Whoa. Hello, Jason. Hey, buddy, how you doing? <laughs> I have one question to ask you. Uh, a few years back, when you did the promotion for Conan, I think you said three magic words. Metallica, Panthera, and Mudbane. From rocker to rocker, what music will be befitting the king of Atlantis when you play him? Go. That's a really goddamn good question. You bet your ass it is. <laughs> Don't push it, buddy. I'm just gonna. I'm gonna give you one song. Are you ready? <laughs> go ahead. I want you to go listen to Ticks and Leeches. By Tool. Oh! My God. You will listen to that song. It's gonna be on your iPod, right? Oh, buddy, come on. <laughs> I'm playing it in my head right now. It's good. <laughs> right. Next question. Me and my friend have one very simple but serious question. For the picture later, can we take your shirt off and pour baby oil on you? 
I would say if he's brave, but I don't know if it's brave or, or another quality. Sure. <laughs> you just try that. <laughs> I know what I'll be doing with that baby oil. <laughs> I was wondering, how was your experience on working on Stargate Atlantis, and what was your favorite moment on working on Stargate? Um, I, I've had, literally, I'm very, very close to everyone on that show, and I still am. I love Joe and Rachel and Paulie and, and to even David sometimes, and um, but I love them very much, and I think the most like poignant and one of the biggest memories I had is actually there's an episode where we're in this building and everything kind of caved down it's just me and Joe do you remember that one yeah, yeah. okay do you remember the name not and you didn't watch it did you I, I did watch oh. it full of shit yeah <laughs> anyways that was um it was an amazing moment it wasn't amazing but his father passed and uh you know normally you would you would um break and that'd be it and and uh He's my, one of my best friends, and we sat in this horrible little, you know, like like a building caved in, covered in blood and, and dust. And uh, you know, I was there for my best friend, and it was it was amazing, you know. And uh, we shared this this time that I'll always remember. And he's just a, a an amazing man, and uh, you know that can, that can never be replaced. And even though that was terrible, obviously, but it was really uh, special. Thanks. And I do remember it was the ending of season four and beginning of season five. I need a name, bro. <laughs> uh, next question. So, okay, so here's a question. Do you believe that superheroes in film should be serious and dark or fun? I think it should be like life. Like, you guys, you know, I'm not dark. I'm Sometimes I'm, you know, very funny and sometimes I'm very serious. So I think they should have both. Um, I think it would be boring if it was just one note. So, but that's just my own stupid opinion. And what do you feel? Do you want to? I want both, but basically what I'm seeing is that some movies are bleak and death and destruction. And it's very, it's very, um, <laughs> Did I stump you? I wouldn't, uh, no, yeah. Um, but, here, but having said that, there's there's certain characters that I wouldn't want cracking jokes and making, you know what I mean? I don't want, I think, you know, Aquaman or, or, or Wolverine, I don't need to see, he's got a nice dry sense of humor, I, I don't think I need to see him making an ass out of himself, like Joker, you know what I mean? Like, or the Riddler or something. So I think within the movie, hopefully it has some levity to it. For you, um, as playing the Aquaman, um, the Aquaman, character how do you identify with that person with the character how do you identify yourself they don't get it <laughs> um do you identify with, with just give it a hint no but i really don't identify with drogo you know what i mean mm. i don't uh you know okay. that, that's not me i do kind of don't i <laughs> It's funny, people will hear it, so they look at me like, you? I'm like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's, it's tough to notice me without my eyes, you know, my, my makeup on. <laughs> I don't identify with them too much, because I, you know, I, I live on land, and I don't, um, I don't, I can't hold my breath that long. <laughs> Next question. Khal Drogo and Conan had the sort of same personality towards ruling their people. How is, how would you think Aquaman ruled the Dothraki people? You said Conan and, Conan and... Oh. And Khal Drogo. Drogo. Conan and Drogo, well, Conan didn't have any people. Well, there's, he's supposed to, you know, if you follow. Well, he's not. He's a, he's a king by himself, so they're not alike. Yeah, you gotta get your facts right when you come and stand alone. <laughs> <laughs> my bad, my bad. Well, the question is, how do you think Aquaman ruled the Dothraki people, if he was their ruler? <clears throat> According to the... I haven't he, played him yet, I don't know. <laughs> You guys are really good at trying to get yeah, no, that. Uh, sneaky. You <laughs> Which actor or director will you like to work with in the future? Daniel Day Lewis. Wow. Uh, oh, is nice. My favorite actor. And then probably Paul Thomas Anderson. Ooh. There you go. Good choice. Favorite flicks of the two. Favorite Danny Day Lewis and favorite Paul Thomas. You got you got some? What, favorite uh, movies? Yeah. Of all times? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> That's fine. 
Would you guys want him for 15 more You guys want him for 15 more minutes? Do you want me to do with my shirt off? <laughs> what about his pants off? No! No! Ten more questions, guys. We're fine. Don't, We're fine. Right, Just, don't we're rush gonna it. have a good time. If you got a goddamn question, you get in line. Bring on the baby oil. <laughs> Drop those drawers, boy. <laughs> you don't own me. <laughs> you don't own me. <laughs> there we go. Questions. Um, I wanted to. Uh, my friend here, I think I wanted to ask you what's your favorite uh, part of Puerto Rico, and I would also like to ask what, where have you traveled? I think, where have your act, where has your acting ha taken you outside of Puerto Rico and the states? Well, let's just say I've never until this last movie I did was the first time I ever worked in LA. <laughs> really? Yeah, that's, 15 years. That's first, shocking. Yeah, so what that says is, you know, Game of Thrones was Outside, Belfast, yeah. Ireland, yep. Morocco, Malta, Gozo, and that's, you know, I went to Prague when I was over there, and then Bulgaria is where I shot Conan. Um, shot a movie that's coming out that was in Alaska. I shot a lot in Toronto. Vancouver was where oh. Stargate Atlantis is. Paloma was shot in five different states. Wow, okay. Okay. Um, What's the, the furthest? My, my, but, uh, but I mean, the place I've traveled to, I mean, some of my favorites is like, I've been to Tibet and um, Japan and France and England, like those places. But Puerto Rico is, I've never seen anything like it. It's, it's super. Yeah, he's from Hawaii. Hawaii yeah, is pretty awesome too. So. You know what's really cool is the uh, the architecture in, in Old San Juan mm -hmm. is like unbelievable. I love it there. Cool. Next question. Okay. Hi, this is not so much a question, it's a request. Uh, it's actually my birthday today and I'm very depressed because I'm quite old. So I was wondering if he could I, I don't want to drink anymore. Happy birthday. Uh, oh. <laughs> okay. I think he missed that, so it's Sorry. a birthday. <laughs> She's asking you to sing her happy birthday. Cause yeah, because I'm actually so. quite depressed because I'm quite old, so. You want me to sing happy birthday to you? If you can. What's your name? Sarah. So, okay. Sarah. 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 Are you going to sing it with me? Uh, I'll take off my pants. I'd rather you sing. <laughs> Okay, let's do it. Let's take off our pants and then we're good. Then we don't have to sing. No, no, let's sing. All right. All right. Una, dos y tres. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Sarah. Happy birthday. Did that happen? All right, next question. That's the first time I've ever had to do that. Thank you, Puerto Rico and Sarah. I, I wish I could say the same thing, but it's not true. Anyway, next question. Your stay in Puerto Rico, how was it? How is? How did you like Puerto, Puerto Rico? Rico? Yeah. You're um, staying in Puerto Rico. How yeah, I'm staying in Puerto Rico. I mean, I'm in the ocean every morning and after work. Uh, it, the water is amazing. The people are bright and the colors are it's beautiful. I've never seen such colors in a city with that kind of art. You know, it's like going to Malta, like oh, Valletta. Wow. Yeah. It's the same walls that they had in like Valletta. Mm -hmm. the, and, but it's Easter egg. Beautiful yeah. Easter. E it's Easter everywhere. <laughs> like, nobody has asked you about the Red Road. And it's a great show, by the way, guys. Are we expecting more of it? You got canceled. No! <laughs> yeah, it's a bummer. Copus is dead. No. Yeah, but baby, I'm sorry. I loved it. Two seasons. Uh, amazing character to play. Yeah. Um, I, I love playing, but it just, you know, Sunday didn't pick it up, so. Yeah, but congratulations, because it was great. Your character is, was awesome. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank <laughs> you. Hey, you. I just wondering, um, during your career, like, what was, like, the turning point when you saw yourself, like, a better actor, a better director, like, any experience that actually changed your mindset about this career and just wanted to you propel further into it? Uh, well, Drogo is the hands down the hardest role I've ever played because he's nothing like me. And uh, to walk like a king, to be like a king, to, uh, like he said, be bigger. You know what I mean? That's my acting, so thanks a lot, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch in the ass, didn't it? 
But, um, you know, to be that big, like my wife, she's like, take the trash out. I'm like, yes, dear. You know what I mean? Like, do the dishes. I'm like, yeah, baby. I don't, I'm not a king in my own home. You know what I mean? She is. So when I play Drogo, you know, it's, I'm exuding something. It's, I'm acting that it changed, way. It, it changed everything. It did. You know what I mean? I haven't played, I haven't had a chance to play. I, I'm better at playing characters than, you know, I kind of, than being me. It's easier for me to tour. Like the last, I just, my new role that's going to be coming out soon, I play Cubano. And it's, it's, it was fun to learn the accent. And, uh, Maybe it was a little taste? Or? No. No. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Mine isn't a question, it's actually a request. I, wanna I, hear I really want to like record you doing this, too. <laughs> oh, yeah? So I can put this shit on the internet. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I wanted to hear your voice from Game of Thrones once again during that speech when you go all wild over when your wife gets hurt and you say, Gun Drogo! <laughs> I don't think he's been practicing at all. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I can beat that, buddy. I gotta tell you, I'm glad that you didn't audition for it. <laughs> well, I'm just gonna give you some room. <laughs> what, 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 what line do you want? Oh, just you can just say your name. Just want to hear your voice. <laughs> Does the cable go that far? <laughs> well, I just did it and ripped my throat out. Um, uh, which one was the hardest to get in character with? As in the personality of the character, which one was the hardest, or uh, yeah, which one take, took him, took you maybe, more time? Maybe besides Drogo, because you've said that 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 he was difficult. So any other? Uh, oh, yeah, aside oh. from Drogo. Um, mm, no, I think Drogo's you know remains the hardest. Did you do some of those scenes with uh, Amelia in the very beginning? And they're very challenging. So you have to really like disappear and become someone else, become some other thing, so. <laughs> I'm a huge Conan fan, and uh, I wanted to see if you remembered this. This is actually from an Arnold movie. Please don't make me say it, sir. Come on. Conan! Sir. Conan, what is best in life? Beer and pizza. <laughs> and women. I'll say my woman, but you know, you know what I'm saying. I kind of remember it like more like to crush your enemy and see him driven before you. Well, that's what he would say, but I'm saying. And to hear the lamentation of their women. Man, so it's good. I have a question. Do <laughs> you? <laughs> Be nice. Get out of here, Ari. You're so cute. What do you have? What do you want to say? That if you could be any Disney character, what would you play? Minnie! Didn't you hear his voice? He can be Minnie. Any Disney character, who would I want to play? That's a great question. Oh. And it's the last one, too. It is? <laughs> I, the last one. I, you know what? I got one more, okay. What's that? Beast. Beast? The Beast from Beauty and the Beast. I would be. Mufasa. Mufasa, guys. <laughs> Say it again, say it again. Mufasa. Ooh. Right, and you're uh, my, my son, I love Lion King and my son loves Lion King, so uh, nice. I gotta be. And the last question is? Why are you so perfect? <laughs> yeah, Jason. Why are you so perfect? I know you're gonna love talking I don't know really if you had to repeat that, buddy. Okay. So, like, I, I, I'm, well, I'm just setting it up point. for you. I don't think that, so I don't know how to answer that. No. But it's pretty cool that you're gonna hold that way. Thank you, and uh, now you seem to be embarrassed. <laughs> anyway, he's not perfect, but he's pretty freaking awesome. Let's thank Jason Momoa for All right. Thank you so much. Okay,